Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and I am so excited for today's video. We are doing another IKEA shop with me, but this one is all for their fall collection that just launched the other day. My friend Kristen McGowan actually just uploaded her video the other day of her fall IKEA shop with me, which I'm going to link below, and it literally inspired me. I was like, I have to go to IKEA. I need all of this fall goodness in my cart right now, and I need it in my home as well. So today, I'm taking you guys along with me. We're going to walk through the IKEA store. I'm going to share with you guys a ton of the new IKEA items that they have for fall along with just items that they've already had in the past that I think could be styled for fall and of course just like the last video I'm also going to be purchasing some of the items that I love and I'm going to share with you guys how I style them in my apartment just so you can see them more in like an actual styled apartment and not just like an Ikea showroom you know so I figured that'd be a nice little touch so if you are not already make sure to subscribe to my channel I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox and as you guys can see I am already in the fall spirit I have a candle burning these are actually fun finally back in stock on my website you guys these are the hand carved wooden candles and they are truly everything i love the three wicks i think it's such a cool oh my gosh this is like so cozy I'm, it's like i'm at a campfire Alrighty, we have a lot to cover in today's video though so let's go ahead and jump on in Whenever I see the big blue and yellow box building, I always know I am at Ikea and I'm so excited to go shopping today with you guys. So the first little space I went into was actually a kitchen area. It did look pretty like disarrayed, if you will, but I do love this more industrial style shelving. I think it's great for a kitchen space like this or perfect for a craft room or garage and the pendant lights in here. I had never seen these before. I don't know if they're new or not, but I loved them. And for only $69.99, I thought that was a great deal. On the other side of the kitchen was this incredible exposed pantry, and I loved it. I love that they use different crates, boxes, tiers, trays, canisters, and vessels to essentially store the food, but also put them on display. The moodiness of this space got me, you guys. Now, I love the color palette in here. It's super neutral and dark, but I thought this green light was a fun pop. It's the Arad light. It's $64.99, which I do think is kind of a bit expensive, but it is a floor lamp. So, I mean, we can give it that, right? And then over on the other side, there was this cute chair, which I loved, and the other floor lamp, I believe I featured it in last video. I mainly, there wasn't too much new stuff in here, but I just wanted to show you guys because I thought the vibe was really cute, and I loved this lamp. opposite corner they did a really fun thing with the dining space i love how they used oversized chairs with a smaller table i think the proportions are quite fun and i think it's great if you are just like you know living with one other person and i also love the mixture of frames and art and prints in the gallery wall i think it adds so much interest to the wall and this clock is a perfect addition to any gallery wall my Ikea is always sold out of the Buskbo magazine stand, and I love this because it totally has that current element of rattan, which is super trendy. So I ended up opting to buy one for my space as well. Just popped a couple books in there. I'm not going to actually keep these books in there, but just for styling purposes, I wanted to share with you guys what it looked like. And then we made our way to the first area of fall, which I am so excited about. I really love that Ikea went all out and created this orange backdrop for this collection because it just really, when I saw this, my heart was happy. So this is kind of an overview of the pieces. I believe this is an older piece here, but I love it. It is actually a rolling tray table, which I think would be great, like a miniature bar cart in a smaller apartment. And this wicker armchair was also a great find. I love the simple shape of it, but the wicker really adds so much texture to it, and it's only $99. Ikea introduced a couple of candles in this collection as well. They're small tin candles. They come in brass and silver. Not the biggest fan of the sticker on top, but honestly, the container itself and the candle smells pretty good. And for a couple of dollars, I think that's a pretty good deal. Now, they have these wreaths as well, which I feel like are like a focal point of their new collection. Sadly, they were all sold out at mine, but they are really cute and you can totally use these as a centerpiece or a wreath. When I picked this pumpkin up and saw there was a zipper on it and this was a storage pumpkin, I was like, what the heck? This is a storage pumpkin, you guys, a felted storage pumpkin. They also have a small set of three little like gourds and pumpkins, which I think these would be super cute spray painted like terracotta or a stone finish for the fall season. Jumping out of fall for a minute, you guys, don't worry, we'll be right back. I saw these nesting tables, thought they were so cute. I've never seen these before. I do not believe they're new, but I loved them. I thought they were such a unique shape. And then around the corner from the nesting tables was this fun gallery wall. I loved this wall color. That's actually why I ended up filming this space. I thought it was a really, really perfect wall color for fall. 
few new tabletops and leg bases are now available at Ikea. They have a white rounded tabletop and this really great wood one as well. So you can kind of DIY it and customize it and create your own tabletop with base legs. Now they have the Alex drawer unit now in this new colorway, which I love. It's called gray turquoise, but it is such a unique color and it's totally a color I would gravitate towards. not in the market for storage furniture they also have cute storage boxes in that same gray turquoise color a new colorway and i love these they stack up and they're super easy to store things in I shared the new tabletops, but not the table legs. These are new trestle style legs. They come in a black metal and a wood option. I love, love, love the wood option. Um, and excuse me, Ikea, when did you get a leather desk chair? I don't believe this is new as well, but when I saw it, I had to share it with you guys because I have never seen this before. Something just as amazing and also brand new is this four poster bed. I love this bed, you guys. It reminds me so much of the one I just used in Kelsey's space. And for only $399, I think that's a great price for a four poster bed. So this one totally has me sold. I don't know if it's me, but I swear there are so many random pieces I was walking around in Ikea and I had saw and I was like, I've never seen this before. Like when has Ikea had a little marble table lamp like this for 20 bucks? So cute, right? And then I came across these little rolling racks. I have seen these before, but I believe there's a couple of new colorways in these. They come in black, gray, turquoise, and white. And these are great for an office space or DIY supplies if you need to wheel them around. If you guys are ever in the market for unique hardware, Ikea actually has quite a few pieces. I love these ceramic knobs. I feel like they look totally vintage. They have everything ranging from black to brass to silver and even a couple woven pieces. And I also stumbled across this step stool, which actually comes in black and white, only $17.99, but a perfect like compact piece for a smaller apartment. only new chair I saw was this one. Really not my favorite, but I thought I'd share it with you guys because if you like it, you know what? Maybe you want to get it. 79 bucks and it is a counter stool it looks like. And then I made my way to the marketplace, which is where I spend most of my time when it comes to Ikea. And this is where a lot more of the fall stuff was found. I just love this owl here. I think it's leaning a little bit more Halloween for me. I don't really want to use an owl in my fall decor, but I would totally use this in Halloween decor, which I think is super fun as well. And the throw blanket from this collection is also great. It has like a rusty orange color with some tassels and there's some brown, black, and gray kind of woven in there. Only $19.99, so if you want to add a pop of rust to your space, this is a perfect option. If you want to add greenery to your fall decor, they also have this wreath and these stems, which are really great. I love the shape of the leaf and it's actually a pretty great quality for the price. And then on top of that, they have these fall floral picks, which I love because honestly, it looks pretty expensive. The colors are incredible and the flowers themselves are really pretty. I'm sorry, but can we talk about how good those look in that green vase? Rolling into some kitchen goods here, we have an oven mitt and a hot pad in this really nice kind of fall pattern. I love this. I think it's fun to introduce pieces like this. It makes fall cooking that much more exciting. And they also have three pieces, which I think are great for Thanksgiving. They have this gravy boat, which is very simple. It's like a light gray ceramic. They have this pie dish, which is my personal favorite. I love how the outside is dark gray and the inside is lighter gray. And last but not least is this larger serving tray, which I think is perfect for a turkey. Honestly, it is much larger than it looks on screen. This tray here is both functional and cute. It features that same pattern that was on the oven mitt and the hot pad. And I also believe they have dish towels as well, you guys, which I totally forgot to film when I was there. And they also have these new framed leaves, which are fun. You can actually style these on the wall as shown here or actually opened up on a tabletop. At first glance, I wasn't a huge fan of this table runner, but actually when I thought about it a little bit more, I think this could be styled really nicely if you do have like some more fall themed accessories and decor and you know your place settings a bit fall themed. I think this would be a really nice base for that. And for only $9.99, that's a great deal. And hey, while you're at it, throw in a pack of napkins with a nice fall print on them. These are actually placemats sold individually so you can use them as you'd like to. And they have this peach candle. I don't know if it's new, but it was in the fall section and it smelled great. And this wreath also really caught my attention. I purchased one of these. I'm going to style it above my mantle. These pink glasses. Are you kidding me? I love these. I'd never seen these at any Ikea before. They're called the Pacal glass and they're only 79 cents. 
I also came across these new carbon steel cookwares, which, you know, aren't the most exciting thing, but Marie liked it, so that's all that matters. <laughs> Working our way into textiles, which I think is one of the most important ways to kind of enhance your space for fall. There are so many cute fall themed covers, including these velvet ones, which I love. The Sanella velvet covers come in so many really beautiful fall tones, including that Vigdis kind of like yellow one as well. And as I turn the corner, I notice this velvet quilted bedspread. I would use this more as a throw, but it is super cozy and it's $64.99. I didn't notice a whole bunch of new over in the lighting section, but I did notice this light here, which I love this. I think this would look great above a dining table or an island. And for Ikea, I feel like they've really been stepping up their light game. Also, this basket is a newer one. I think this would double both as a storage basket and it can also be a trash can if you wanted it to. Speaking of storage boxes, I am going to butcher the name of this one. It's like Tajad, I believe, but the larger one has a handle on the front. The smaller one has a label on the front. In the floral section, I'm not sure if any of these are new, but I wanted to point out these hydrangeas that they were really pretty for fall, and also these like more pompous grass style pieces would also be a great kind of grass to style with for the fall season. Now this particular Ikea I went with had all these rattan style mirrors. Now if anyone could tell me where these are at every other Ikea, I would love to know. I have never seen these before. You have made it through an Ikea shop with me video for fall. I loved everything I shared in today's video and I hope that you guys liked it as well. And I hope this was a little bit informational or inspirational. I hope it gives you a boost to basically go out and check out your Ikea or any other stores just to get some fall vibes in your home this year. I cannot believe fall is already here, which is, it's crazy. It truly is. But if you did enjoy today's video, it would so help my channel out. You guys, if you'd give this one a big thumbs up. And also if you have not already, make sure to subscribe. I post brand new home decor and DIY content every single week here on Lone Fox. And last but not least, before heading out, don't forget to check out my online store. It is LoneFox.com. Tons of new products have been added, and the store has actually been down for about a month or so. So if you guys have been trying to access it or shop on it, it has been down, but it is finally back up and running. So I will catch you all in my next video. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I would love to know, are you guys excited for fall? Leave a comment below. Bye, guys.